This is the No BS Coaching Advice Podcast, episode 91. I'm your host, Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter, and welcome. I like to spend some time regularly talking with you about life, the universe, and everything. And I'll just say, if you like this show, subscribe, make a contribution, support the show, use the link Uh, in the show notes that take you to anchor.fm and subscribe to the show, make a contribution one time, multiple times, however you choose to do it, I'd really appreciate it. And I thought I would start off today's show with a quote from Seth Godin. Uh, In his book, Tribes, he writes, people don't like to switch. We may eagerly join a company and slog through for years, staying until the place finally declares bankruptcy. No, it's not the same company we joined at the beginning. Far from it. But to switch sides is to admit we made a mistake. I know I did that with my last search firm, where I tolerated too much for too long. I had left before it declared bankruptcy. But by about four months, they were eventually shut down. And I'll just simply say, had I thought about it sooner, as much as I enjoyed the people there, I'd really stopped enjoying the working environment there. Maybe that's true of you in some aspect of your life. The question comes down to what are you tolerating? What are you putting up with and why? The why is the big part here, because the impact of putting up with stuff that you shouldn't is that your life, your senses, your experience becomes dulled. There's no reason for that. There are other choices, other options. And if you're not sure what they are, hire a coach. People like me are there to help you, whether it's me or someone else. Get some support. One of the ways we figure out how to not put up with stuff is by making a commitment to ourselves and others to become world class. What does it mean to be world class? Well, it's really about doing your best at things that you do and not just settling for taking it easy or not pushing yourself. You see, Culturally, as adults, no one really pushes us anymore. The result winds up being we get to tolerate doing 50% effort. Why is that okay? Like, if you're in a relationship, is 50% effort really what what you want to give the person that you love or care for? Seriously, why does taking it easy override your desire to be excellent? your desire to be world-class. Think about everything that you do. Seriously, think about everything that you do and see how you can do it world-class. For some of you who've listened to this show before, you may have heard me say, a lifetime is not a long time. We like to think of ourselves as being immortal, but life has a way of showing us how foolish we are to act as though that were true. In trying to be world-class, in trying to put in your best effort so that you don't fall prey to the seduction of mediocrity, because that's really what that first quote is about, approach every day with a great sense of urgency. Life. Every minute of your life is going to run out at some point. How do you want to live between now and that inevitable conclusion? Why do you want to live that way? I will tell you point blank that if you want to go through life drifting purposelessly, that's okay. It is your choice, not mine. But the fact of the matter is, Most people, as they approach the end of their life, have too many regrets. And few of them are about taking it easy, doing things in a casual way. They're about missed opportunities, 
missed opportunities with their family, in their relationships, not with their work. And being great, well, the practice place can be work. The real place that matters is at home. And the most important place to do it is everywhere. So that's today's show. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, subscribe in Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, wherever you listen to the show. Just subscribe so you get downloads whenever I release a new episode. Each show is going to be bite-sized morsels of advice just like today's. I hope you enjoyed it, and I do hope you subscribe. And if you do choose to subscribe, I hope you decide to support the show. There's a link that will take you to anchor.fm where you can make a pledge in support of the show. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you're interested in my coaching you, connect with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter. Mention that you listen to the show. I just happen to like knowing I'm helping some folks. And once we're connected, message me about your interest in, in coaching. We'll set up a free call. We'll get acquainted, see if it makes sense. I'll be back soon with more. And in the meantime, I hope you have a great day. Take care. Time for the